Hi everybody, this is Maureen Wong for Your Next Stamp. Today I'm going to be coloring this image from Your Next Stamp from the set called Howdy Farmer with Prismacolor Pencils and Odorless Mineral Spirits. Let's start on his face with Light Umber PC941. I'm going to do a very light coat of this because once the mineral spirits hits it, it's going to darken up a little bit and I don't want it to end up too dark. If that's what you're going for, then by all means do a heavier coat here, but I'm going to try and just give him a healthy tan and not make him too dark. So I'm going with a very light layer of color here. I'm doing small little circular strokes hopefully laying down even color all over his face. And his ears. Now I'm going to go in with my blending stump and my odorless mineral spirits and blend out his face. And you can see right there how it gets darker immediately. When I blend, I use, again, small circular strokes. And go all over his whole face. Okay, now for some shading. I'm going to come in with PC 945 Sienna Brown. And again, I'm going to do light shadowing around his face. I don't want it too dark, otherwise you'll have a noticeable line between the two colors. Okay, come back in with that same stump that I used for his face. And I blend out the shadow. Again, with a small circular motion, I'm trying to blend that shadow in a little bit towards the center of his face, not too much, but a little bit away from the edge where I colored. Okay. And now for his cheeks, I'm going to come in with Henna PC 1031, and I'm going to draw kind of a big circle, very, very lightly. We don't want him to look like he's wearing blush, just that he has kind of a healthy glow about him. I'm coming back in with the same pencil that I use, or I'm sorry, the same stump that I used for the rest of his face. And blend that out. There we go. And now I'm going to move on to his hat. My light color is Jasmine PC 1012. Again, small circular strokes. I'm going to lay down an even layer of this color. I imagine he has on a straw hat. And you can go a little heavier with this color since it is so light. Okay, now let me blend that out. Okay. 
can come in with a little bit of shading with PC942 Yellow Ochre. With the same stump, I'm going to blend out that yellow ochre. That same circular motion. It'll drag the color up towards the top, but not all the way. Because we still want to have some color variation. And I forgot the top of his hat, so let's go back with the jasmine. And blend that out. And yellow ochre. Okay. I'm going to leave the Headband for later. Now let's move on to his hair. I'm going to use the same light umber that I used on his face. And if you're worried that it looks like it's going to just all blend in together, his face and his hair, it's not. And the reason is because I'm going to use different colors to shade with, and that's going to make all the difference. There's my base layer, and the base layer can be a little bit darker because we want him to have dark brown hair. Come in and blend that in, and it does look a little similar to his face. Then we're going to come in with dark umber, and this is going to change the color of his hair considerably. And I'm putting on a fairly generous amount because he has a hat on, so it would be very shadowed, and then a little bit less down the sides. And then come in with my shading, with my blending. Okay, and then one last thing I want to do is, because he does have this hat on, I'm going to make a very dark shadow right where the hat meets the head. And this time, when I use my blending stump, instead of doing the circular motion, I'm going to just trace right over that line. Because I don't want to draw the color down, I just want to blend it in nicely. And be careful not to go up into the hat. And there we go. You have a nice dark shaded area right underneath the hat. Okay, now I'm moving to his overalls. I'm starting with Denim Blue PC 1101. And you can leave a little white area in the middle there. 
for where the knees would be. The knees always tend to be a little lighter. I'll come in with my blending stump. And smooth that all out. And now I'm coming in with my darker color, PC901 Indigo Blue. And I'm going to do a little bit of shading with that. And this is a brand new patch, so it's going to be pretty dark. And then where his pants go into his boots will be a little bit darker. And come back in with my blending stump. Okay, there we go. And I'm also coloring the brim of his hat with the same blues. So here's the denim blue. And I'm going to leave highlight in the center. Come in with my indigo just on the very edges. Oops. Broke the tip off there. It's okay. And pull that color in just a little bit. Okay. Now, moving on to his shirt, I'm going to give him a solid red shirt. Oh, and that little bit of triangle space up there, that's his neck. I forgot to color that in earlier. Okay, back to the red. This is Crimson Red 924. And a red stump. Just smooth that all out. And then I'm going to come in with my darker red. This is PC 925 Crimson Lake. And do just a little bit of shading. And just a tiny bit of blending here as well. I'm not really drawing the color out. This is such a small area. I'm just tracing over the lines to blend them in. And there you go. His shirt is done. Let's move on to his gloves. I'm going to give him some brown leather gloves. I'm using my light umber here. I tend to use a lot of the same colors over and over again. And I'm going to do the light umber here on the 
wooden part of the shovel. And blend that out. And then I'm coming in with my darker, dark umber, bit of shading. And blend those out. For the rest of the shovel, I'm going to be using Cool Gray 20%, which is PC 1069, I believe. You want to give this a fairly heavy coat because it's a very light color. Okay, and if you want to go ahead and blend that in a little bit, we can do that. And that will actually help to darken up the color just a tiny bit. Now for his boots, I'm going to start with a warm gray 90% PC 1058 and even though I want it to look like he's wearing black boots we don't start with black because we'll lose all the detail in his boots if we color it too dark right from the beginning that's why I'm using a really dark gray And then I'm going to come in with black for shading, PC935. Those are his boots. Now we can move on to the wheat, and I'm using yellow ochre again. And these areas are so very tiny, I'm not going to worry about shading. I'm just going to color them in straight. And then I'm going to come in with Olive Green PC 911 for the stalks. Oh, my pencil broke. I have to sharpen that. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. My pencil sharpened. And again, these stalks are so small, I'm not worried about shading. Although you could if you wanted to. And 
Okay. And now for the final thing, the ground. I'm just going to go in with these really obvious circles. And the reason for that is I actually want to show a little bit of texture on the ground. So I'm not going to worry about this part being all nice and smooth. And when I come in to blend, I'm not going to try and blend it smooth. I'm just making sure the color spreads. And that's all. I'm going to come in with my dark umber for just a little bit of shading. Under his shoes, by the shovel, and under each stalk. And I'm going to do just a little bit of blending those out. And that's it, we're done. And there's your finished guy from Howdy Farmer. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to check out the set and all the other stamps and dies at yournextstamp.com. Bye bye.